Now back to the video. We're getting right back into it, guys, immediately. So we just starting off from where we left off. We're going to apply the adhesive on top of the lace net. You're going to do this one to two times total. I typically do it, it depends. Sometimes I do it once, sometimes I do it twice. So it just depends, but one to two times is fine. And then you just want to spread it. You want to try to spread it evenly as possible. At this point, you can probably even barely tell that he has a lace knit on. You would really just think that that's his natural scalp. So make sure you buy the natural tone lace knit. As you've seen in the last video. So just to emphasize that, buy the natural tone lace knit. Don't buy any other colors, no black, no white. Buy the natural skin tone. And just try to spread it evenly as possible. You can't spread it smoothly, as smoothly as you would on their scalp with the lace knit. So if you have to apply some more adhesive to get that even spread and go for it as you see me do I just I had to apply some more adhesive but it's pretty much just a sandwich effect you're doing so you got one layer of adhesive on the scalp or two layers excuse me of adhesive on the scalp then you have the lace net on now we're going to secure the lace net by adding some more adhesive on top of the lace net therefore making sure it's in place properly and will not move the lace net will be very secure for the client and will not move. Blow dry on a cool setting. You want to do that tacky feel like I like I like to do, but you just want it to dry clear as best as as best as possible. That's the hair I'm using. It's 100% human hair, y'all. 100%. I really recommend that and now the key is stand that hair straight up don't go from side to side I do it straight up stretch the hair vertically that's what I mean by having it straight up not from side to side that's the way you want to apply the hair on top of the scalp also you want to apply it straight up and I like to pull it to make sure it's not coming apart all right that's how I like to do it I like to pull it see how it's good nothing's coming loose that's exactly how you want it. You do not want it to shed. If you do it, if you do it uh, sideways, you have that risk of it shedding. If you do it vertically, going straight up, that's gonna be your best bet. That's how you wanna apply it to the scalp, just like that. And that is the potion that is the key ingredient, that lace glue. This is very powerful very very powerful make sure your client follows your instructions tell them to lean their head back and when you apply it be very careful because it's very stringy this is the mother of all adhesives that lace glue is serious do not wear gloves when using this lace glue yourself a favor just do not wear gloves but you're gonna just do one layer of this lace glue one layer and I really don't take it to the frontal hairline I take it close but not right to it not right to it just right around that quarter to half an inch behind the hairline You can pretty much just apply this immediately. You don't have to blow dry or anything. Just apply it immediately on there. And I apply it vertically straight up the hair. And I always apply to the hairline first. Always apply to the hairline first. That's just my comfort zone. That's how I like to do it. But always apply the hair vertically. Keep this in mind. Please do this because if you do it sideways, you have the risk of shedding. And shedding will not be a good look. The hair will shed. So keep this in mind. I 
always like to take care of the hairline first. I just want the hairline to be done and over with because it's the most tedious area that you're going to cover. Now I'm about to apply some more lace glue right behind it. Now for this demonstration, I applied the lace glue section by section, but you can do it all at once, all right? The choice is yours. I just want to show you guys this in detail. But as the caption read at the bottom, section by section for this style may be a little more secure. So just keep that in mind, okay? We just want that lace glue to have its maximum hold. But doing it this way, be very careful. Be very careful. I want you guys to be careful with this lace glue in general. Don't be too sloppy with it. Don't be careless. Take your time when spreading. Please take your time because it's very powerful and it's very stringy so it can go places that you didn't intend for it to go. Then I'm applying the hair vertically again. Taking my time. You may get some of that lace glue on your hands too, so try to make sure that it's, it's not on your hands when you're applying the hair. A lot of times what I do is I'll spray some C22 or some adhesive remover. I'll use that on my hands and have a towel handy and just you know wipe away I had to do that a lot because this unit can get messy these units in general can get a little messy so I always keep some C22 on you like I mentioned some piece of removal I pretty much did this in three sections transition area just a little bit but now I'm adding this last section this last bit of lace glue I'm adding very stringy very stringy this lace glue has a mind of its own sometimes it's, it's very stringy so just be very careful I can't emphasize that enough. This lace glue is very, very stringy. I just want you guys to proceed with caution when you use it, all right? But yes, human hair works the best for this style because it gives it more longevity. You can use synthetic hair if you want to. If you want to, that's fine. But human hair, you're not going to... Um, I feel like you're not going to have those odors, you know, with the human hair that you do with the synthetic hair. Sometimes the synthetic hair doesn't smell really good coming out the package, let alone for a one or two month style. So I recommend using human hair. That way, if they want to use a little product on their hair, they can do that. And it'd be a really good look for them. They'll appreciate it too. But yes, you see what I'm doing? I'm getting that, I'm getting that adhesive off my hands. Now here's a little key for you. Use some of your regular adhesive on that transition area. Alright? You didn't use the lace glue around that. I just want to use either the ghost bond or the chick bond around those transition areas. I'm just securing the overlapping hair. That's all I want. I just need a little overlapping hair. That's all I need, okay? So do that on the transition areas. Then once you do that, you can blow dry it on a cool setting on that area or you can let it air dry, whatever you prefer. Then you can proceed to cut it down to the desired length. 
but do so freehand only. Do not use clipper bars. Freehand only. So be very gentle when cutting the hair down. And please do not use combs. You don't want to risk combing the hair unit hair out. So just use your hand to assist you. That's essentially going to be like your comb in a sense. But just take your time. Try to do the best you can when cutting it down. Use your off hand to assist you. This method to me is so much easier than the other method because there is another method that can achieve this look, but in my opinion, this is the easiest method. The other method, the client's hair has to be so long in order to camouflage the track hair, right? So you do have the track hair method, but you have to have the client's hair so long in order to camouflage that track because if you cut it down too low, then the track will be exposed. Trust me, I've made the mistake in the past with that unit. I want you guys to learn from my mistakes. And for those of you who are familiar with that track method, I have additional education for those of you who have purchased the mastery course. But for those of you who have purchased just a single video, go ahead and get the mastery course. It's worth it. You have access to all the education that I'm offering guys the continued education that we're doing is going to be game changing okay as i evolve you evolve i'm not leaving nobody behind so we have a private page on instagram and we're going to be discussing topics we're going to be getting new techniques constant education okay i'm going to help you try to take your career to the next level Okay, I'm just taking my time cutting it down. You can see it's starting to look really good and natural. Pretty much, this is just simple barbering, y'all. It's just simple barbering. Just cutting down the hair freehand with the clipper of your choice. Now, I try, I try also to check for gaps. So I, I'm checking for gaps at the same time as I'm cutting it down, kind of rubbing the hair with my fingers, kind of spreading it slight, slightly with my fingers, excuse me. But as you can see, it's shaping up very nice, looking really nice and natural. That right side is coming together great. You can definitely see the look form. That's exactly what you want. That's exactly what you want. So just take your time. You don't have to perfect it. Perfect one side. You can just cut one side down a little bit and move on to the next. Keep it moving. It's up to you. You'll get your style down once you get used to it. But now, as you see, I'm going to the back. I'm just cutting it down the same way. Freehand, taking my time. No rush. No rush at all. We're really creating true art right now. So I want you guys to understand the, the, the value of what you're doing. I want you guys to charge, charge your work. I don't want you guys to cheat yourself. This is a skill you have that you develop, that 
you pay for. I want you guys to take advantage of it. I want all my students to win. All of them. Every last one of you, okay? I want all you guys to win. Nothing will make me happier than to see you guys succeed in this hair unit industry. It's enough for everybody, okay? Now I'm working to the other side, cutting the hair down again, just taking my time. As you can see, his look is really coming together. Now you can see the look is forming very nice. It's almost like, who is this guy? He's a totally different person from where we began. This is life changing for people, y'all. This is, once again, I'm gonna repeat that. This is life changing for people. Men now have options. Men who suffer with hair loss now have options, and this is life changing. I've had people do some very nice things for me because of this service. Okay, it's more than just a hair unit. You're really giving people confidence. You're helping them to feel good about themselves. All right, so keep in mind the importance of what you're doing. I know the money's good in these hair units. And people can just want to just make that quick money, but I don't want you guys to lose actually what you're doing for people. You're really doing a great service. You're, you're helping somebody build their confidence. I've done units for weddings, I've done units for all kind of occasions, and just to be a part of those big events is, is a wonderful privilege. So I want you guys to keep that in mind and you know be passionate about what you're doing. And the money will come guaranteed, okay? And I'm going to help you every step of the way.
Now remember, you can use your comb to spread out some of those gaps. You don't want those gaps in the hair, okay? So use your comb gently, kind of comb out those gaps. Just gently though, not too rough. And it's not gonna be super perfect, but don't worry about it because we have enhancements that's still gonna make the unit look really good and natural, okay? We'll get to that a little later. But he's looking really good. He looks like a whole new person at this moment. And just to show you how secure the unit is, I'm rubbing it with my fingers. You can even style it like that, okay? The unit is very secure, but guess what? We're still not done yet. We got more to come. I'll see you in the next video.